Drug abusers destroying the lives of our children. These were the words of the former First Lady of Lagos State at the grand finale of the second edition of the Inter-Secondary School Debates Competition organized by the Nigerian Youth Parliament, Lagos Central Senatorial District, Etiosa Local Government Area. Our correspondent, Paul George, reports. Child abuse has been maladating, excessive, and addictive use of drugs for non medical purposes, despite the social, psychological, and physical problems. Gathered here in this hall are predominantly students and youths who have come for the grand finale of the inter secondary school debate competition. The chief host, Honorable Bolahon Yishao, praised the participating students' ingenuity. He says, in order to sustain the fight against drug abuse, the advocacy has to be taken to schools. One of the main ways of handling um, drug, keep, keeping a drug-free environment is advocacy. Let them have places they can talk about. Some kids cannot talk to their parents at home. So they, they come to the school environment. But the best thing government can eventually do is there should be a counselor in every school that we have, every public school, or one, maybe one to five or six. They go around different days of the week to ensure that they talk to the students. As a way of encouraging the students who are aspiring for greatness, the keynote speaker, former first lady of Lagos State, Abin Bola Fashola, warned the student to eschew drug abuse. All we are calling here and saying here is that let's stop it. It's destroying our future, it's destroying our children, and it's not making us be at where we should be. So it's a welcome development for us to be able to at least capture them while they are still young so that they won't get out of hands. And let's continue to use that God-given talent in us, the gifts in us, to make our country a better place. A member representing Lagos Central Senatorial District, Nigerian Youth Parliament, Honorable Abdulmumin Edidi, corroborated this view. We are saying prisons are congested already. If you look at the issue of drug abuse, most of the people who peddle drugs don't use drugs. They are business people. It is the victim. So if you are sentencing the victims to jail, it's as good as you not putting a square peg in a round hole. So we are advising that they should sentence those of them that they find peddling and consuming at the same time to community services, while those of them who are just victims, they should send them, sentence them to rehabilitation. The youth parliamentarian was glad that the students didn't disappoint in their delivery. He spoke alongside others. We are getting the students to own the conversation about drug abuse. And I'm sure you all saw what the, the discussion they had. Very fruitful, very beautiful deliberation. So that's what it's about. And from there, these people now are drug-free school advocates in their schools. We will take it up from here to groom them, to counsel them, and to prepare them for the real task. These are our younger ones. Don't we? We don't have much to put in. But keep it up. That is what I will say. Keep it up. It's very, very impressive to encourage our younger generation. Thank you very much. One of the students said it, the debater said it that, you know, whenever you are hooked on drugs, it's probably because of your distorted thinking. So you see everything around you as being negative, catastrophic, and you think that the only way out is drug. But what I have seen here today, I am very, the winners of the debate competition were full of joy for the opportunity. I feel good and happy. I would like to tell them thank you, God bless you guys for providing such an opportunity for us to debate about drug abuse. The feeling is immeasurable. I can't say, I can't depict the feeling I'm feeling right now. Like I'm just feeling excited. My principal always say this, nothing is impossible, everything is possible. So I just put in my best and leave the rest to God. The high point of the event was the presentation of cash and laptops for the winner and other prizes for the runners-up. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.